Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Continuing my Hoi 4 Kaiserite campaign as the Kingdom of Siam. Now, we're building up for our inevitable war with the Right Spacht, and I think I almost have my subs ready. There's four of them left, but after that, we're gonna start tweaking them. Well, no, but after that, we're gonna start drilling them, and then we can get some. Navy experience to um, tweak our stuff. For some reason, Japan is not giving us what we need here. But we do. We have allies that have resources that we can trade with. So let's do that. Um, surprisingly, the Princely Federation... Oh, there goes the PSA. They've taken Bombay back. Amazingly. So... Douglas MacArthur is now in charge. Well, goddamn. There we go. Back in business. There, where is that? Where is back in business? There we go. So, Fortress America, enter the fray, or just focus on North and South America, I suppose. Uh, that's up to them, I suppose. I would like them to join the fray, but not against us, please. Uh, it is basically 1943 right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go for construction. Try to get some of this uh, built up faster, but I suppose I should have gone for uh, the other thing there. Streamlined line. Retention. No, we don't need retention. We'll just go with um, growth. Should be fine. We have enough political power to do something. Fighter, carrier fighter, heavy fighter. Tactical and strategic bombers. I don't have the requirements for this, though. Tactical and strategic. We don't have this either. Well, I mean, having the fighters be better is always better. We're not going to be bombing that much. I'm basically building them to provide ground support. And I've got one more of these to make. Give me 200. That's Portugal. That's um, falling to whom now? Okay. Who did Portugal fall to? The Union of Britain? Jesus, Annie is just going crazy! Yeah, they are. Hmm. Like, they went over here and sort of took over, but they've lost that now, after the war, so now they're focusing on other things. They're focusing on their war against the Entente. Well, they could technically invade the French Republic into Bordeaux and then just sort of sweep east. That would be the easiest for them because they have the navy to invade anywhere. Yeah, this is not going to contest anything. <laughs> and they took Lisbon back. Well, I guess everything here is going to die then. Alrighty then. I'm thinking I'm going to build a bigger defense force. I think 10 is not enough. Let's just build a proper 24 division here. We'll just do this. I'll assign you to that guy. I can always bump up my manpower loss. Or I could just delete these dudes. They're just there for defense. Because I'm expecting to get naval invaded a lot. Uh, better be sure that they can hold this. What do, they, what do they need here? Yeah, they need 9. They only have 10 dudes, so we're going to have 20, so we're going to have double coverage. Plus, over double c coverage. Okay, okay, okay. Things are... I would say progressing, but that's... Um, yeah, it's technically, yeah, they are progressing, but just very, very slowly. Ooh, new construction methods are done. I was moving towards the Tiger Club here, so let's just continue doing that. Motorized and mechanized? I don't know what that was, I was pressing enter, so something happened. Nothing I care about, I imagine. 
So, we finished building all of the submarines, so I'm going to have you guys do naval exercises and see if I lose all of my oil. I'm going to give you a dude. You've got naval AA, so do you. We don't need that. That's kind of wasted. Just take a random dude with nothing. And we'll see if we can train you guys up. Yeah. The fuel is fine. Oh, Jesus. It takes us three days to get one. Oh, boy. Well, let's try to get the Tiger Club thing done as fast as we can. And give me a heart, uh, heart attack here. Upgrade this to this. We had enough steel for this. That's amazing. Encryption is done. Let me scale you down. There we go. It's fine, it's fine. We finished this. I can't, let's get the reactors. Start on that. Since it is 1943. So snorkels are almost done. Let me see how much it costs to tweak this submarine that I got. So I want sonar level 2. I want torpedoes the highest. No, not mine warfare. So we got two of these. We got three of these. So this is gonna cost me eight. That's that's nothing. That's really just nothing. Uh no, let's uh, do I take this to snorkel instead? Oh Jesus, I did not know they were mutually exclusive. This is just torpedoes or mines. Torpedoes or mines. Purely torpedoes. Engine. Oh boy, fine. We'll go with the snorkel then. But this is not the level 2 snorkel. It's going to cost us about 8 or 10 to do this. I wasted a lot of time getting that sonar. Shit. Maybe I should have a few ships? A few submarines? Like 10 of them be sonar and the other 20 be snorkels? I don't know if that's going to work. I have no idea. I don't do a lot of naval stuff. It's it's boring. Improve snorkel. There we go. So. We do No. Get the way for me. Uh, do this. Give me... Yeah. No. And snorkel level 2. Eight. Okay, I'm gonna save this. This is called... I'm just gonna call this B2. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my Navy here. Stop drilling you. Let's, uh... They need to go back. Oh, they can go to the Philippines, apparently. I, but I want them to go here. Into my own dock that is level 7. I'm gonna bump it up as well maximum did it not work yeah there we go now i want you to select all of you refit b2s yes six days per ship so 30 ships that is uh, 180 days i don't even know what there is yeah that's going to be middle africa stuff okay uh you are queuing up stuff. This one is in a year. I could do this later. I get a better engine. Eh, we'll see. We can tweak it later. There's no rush. I just want the current submarines to get a lot more firepower. And sneakier. Uh, ching, ching, ching. Can you die? And why don't you wipe out this pocket here? Why, oh, why, oh, why? There we go. The Feng teams are taking the coast, it seems. Doing a nice push. Yeah, they have manpower and divisions, but I, I'm, I'm imagining the problem is the lack of factories. They don't have enough factories to produce guns for their dudes. Yeah, look at this. Combat strength, 22. Combat strength, uh, slightly higher, 70-something. 
Yeah, but none of them are at full strength, it seems. So the Ching can't keep up. Which is lovely. I'm still kind of bummed out that I couldn't go Syndicalist. Like, I could have, I could have just checked what the tree was going to be like first. But, like, we have social liberals, social democrats, and social conservatives. We have the crazy, um, this is what? National populists. And then we got paternal autocrats, and then we got the radical socialists. That's a, that's the furthest left you can go with these guys. But you need a civil war to do that. So, whoops. I could have changed the name of the campaign by now, but fuck it. All right? It's just a title. It's not a promise, is it? And who knows, like, moving forward, I'm thinking, there's gotta be, if you guys seen, like, the, the Copa stuff from the YouTube, they're trying to, uh, essentially ruin a bunch of YouTubers. I'm not making any money out of YouTube right now. At all. Haven't been ever. So, I was hoping to, at some point, expand the channel and, like, do that, but what the hell am I gonna do now? I might have to figure out, I mean, who else does streaming other than YouTube? I don't like Twitch. I hate that thing. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds, but... If that Copa stuff comes true, I mean, a lot of people are gonna leave YouTube and find something else. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, we should have few silos. If you don't know what that is, I think in January 2020, you're gonna see a lot of YouTubers stop making content. Because of those stupid fucking rules. And just focus on other things like Twitch. Which I don't personally like. But, I don't know. Maybe it's the future. I, I need to buy a lot of gear for that. Uh, I need to buy a better fucking computer for that. Stable internet. All of that stuff. I don't even know if that's worth it. We will just have to see. Anyway. Uh, Denmark is holding on, but they're actually invading Copenhagen. And they've landed in uh, Scandaland? No. There it is, that's Scandaland. Mm. What are you planning right now? Rooting out traitors, okay. That's always very, very important. It looks like they're gonna go... Yeah, they're gonna focus on... Um, North and South America, it seems. Yeah. Attack Canada, attack Mexico. Yep, they're gonna focus on their own stuff. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So they're not gonna be joining anything that's happening in, like, mainstay here. Unless they attack Canada. Which would be amazing. That would weaken the Entente. Just immensely. Ooh, give me more. We take both uh, anti-tank stuff. Uh, okay, you are almost done training. Eh, close-ish. And yeah, it looks like Ching is finally just fracturing. They don't have the guns for their people to hold on to anything. So as soon as Nanjing falls down there, they're dead. And I think all of this will go to Feng Tian, except for this tumor here in the middle. Is this not a Feng Tian core? Yeah, it is. Why would you do that, Japan? And why don't you push into this? I imagine their morale is completely gone. Their organization is completely gone. Let's see here. Your manpower should be dropping. You're losing control of states. That you can mobilize out of. But nah. That's fine. I can justify against you in 65 days. Should I start doing that? My submarines are not ready. Let's see here. This is number 7, so I, we're only done... We've, we've finished 6 of these out of 30. Okay. Okay. I'm 
seeing overruns it is beautiful. Now they're pushing over here. That should be pretty quick. They don't have a lot of supplies. But they're heavily entrenched, so the low supply just gets rid of that. Fuel storage, thank you. Fuel gained per oil. Uh, sure, let's let's do that. Let's um let's get a few of these. The, uh, get a few of the oil techs. Because moving forward, do, doing naval, air, and then... I don't know if we're going to have any army um, oil requirements with mo uh, motorized, mechanized tanks. I want to add the light tanks at some point. It's just taking forever, though. Support weapons done. Give me this. Hmm. Yeah, we're upgrading our level 3s. I mean, once this is done, I don't have to make as many guns. And this is getting a huge stockpile here. You're upgrading the fighters. They're not getting any experience. Come on, just get to Nanjing. And kill him. Come on. There's a single division left here, and they're actually attacking. Uh, no, no, there were two divisions there. Uh, eight defenders, six defenders, six defenders. This is so nice to watch. Like, you've been fighting for a while, and then eventually the enemy just can't anymore. They just cannot fight anymore, and then you just sort of roll over them. It is incredibly satisfying to do. Because they just run out of something. They run out of manpower, or they run out of guns. Or they just get nuked, so you just roll over them. It is so fun. I love it. I love seeing it. So, come on guys, wrap this up. There's 15 dudes here. Not even in a city, so this is maximum 33%, yeah. 33% low reserves. Low supply. And they're attacking across the river into a city. That's gonna be difficult. But it looks like we don't need the city, kind of. We could take everything but the city and we'll probably have the 90, the 100% here. 3 million casualties, we got 2.6. So Feng Tian is going to have all the manpower in the world once they core all of this. And Japan is... yeah, they're fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to start, I think, fabricating on you. 65 days. I just want that done. And I, I think we have a year. Once we have the claim, we have a year to push it before we lose, um, we lose stability. And we lose war support and all of that. Ooh, Tiger Club economy, finally. Consumer goods are going to go down to zero with this. So all of our factories will be pulled up. Uh, stability 5, yeah, that's wasted. But cap and output 3%, that's also good. So all 71 factories we're going to get control out of. Hmm, are we going to actually have to take every single province here? I mean, this is this here is a city. There's only five dudes left. Oh, they have some entrenchment even. They're trying their hardest. Yeah, you're all doomed. Encirclement penalty as well. Yeah, you're doomed. You're doomed. Like, like all of this is going to be Fengtian. And as long as they're loyal to Japan, I think we're fine. Expel Japanese officers. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here. But if they piss off the Japanese, I'm going to have to fight Fengtians. And the bulk of their forces is going to come after me. Uh, so, bombers, fighters... I'm going to drop this to one each and just put this into tanks. 
Denmark was annexed, that's good. Uh, I can drop the Fengtian aluminum. And I need more now. Russian Far Eastern Republic, give me two. There we go. You go away. Oh, come on, there's just Nanjing left. And what is this? Yuxi? I can't tell, this is Wuxi. How many divisions do they have left? And there's a lake there in the middle. There's a the river here. Jesus, there's a lot of divisions in like five provinces. And then 19. There's 19 in this one. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have my claim uh, very soon. And then... We go to war with the Germans, I imagine. I want to make sure I declare war before they do anything. Because it says here for the Fengtians to like do uh, to expel the Japanese officers, they need to be at peace. So I can stop them from rebelling if I just keep them at war. If they do uh, rebel, that is. So that's good. If I Yeah, just keep them at war. And then after the war, they can rebel all they want, because I'll have what I need. And Turkestan has pushed back. And so has Rush Soviet Russia. Oh, huh. <laughs> they ran out of dudes. They ran out of dudes. Well, that's what happens when you declare so many wars, Russia. You dipshit. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. There's nothing they can do. They there we go. I don't want anything from Qing. Mongolia took eight states. Uh, let's grab you. I'm kind of tempted to cheat a bit here by, like, tax switching to Fengtian and then just console annexing Mongolia. I'll just let them have Mongolia. But I don't know. Is that bad? This just this just annoys me. I don't like this. Why did they make why did they puppet Mongolia? Why? Uh, but I'm about to declare war on Burma. I'm gonna tell all of you guys to go when you're ready. You're all on balanced. You all have air support and ground support. Ground air support, that is. This is a bit good. Chief of Navy, Chief of Air Force. Give me just air superiority. Come on. Where's the air superiority here? Uh, there we go. Yeah, or we could just go fighters. No, we don't have that. Air superiority, 10% there at the bottom. Yeah. Give me that dude. And I think just something to... Submarines. Attack, defense, convoy rating efficiency. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. My PP is gone. That sounded dirty, but it wasn't. I meant it. Uh, you guys have all the traits you could need, except for you. Except, yeah, you can't pick anything. 6643. 3346. And shit. Okay. When can I declare this war? Five days. Five days and German war begins. They're still fighting like Australia, Mexico, and um, Iran. But the chances they, they can get here and, and just affect anything is just minimal. Like, they have a navy, a small navy, 180, 190 ships. Japan has 400. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's just declare this war and call all allies. Unpause for a second and get all of the pop-ups. And I think we're ready. Yeah, they haven't called in Germany East Asia or the AOG. Streamlined line. Give me this. No, wait. What do I need? 1943. Uh, need nothing here. Give me recon, yeah. But AOG barely has any dudes on our borders. 
So they have not called in German East Asia or the AOG. Now they have, and we can wipe them out. Look at the green across the board. And I imagine a lot of these troops were not here. They were in Europe uh, attacking. And German East Asia has not been called in yet. There we go, German East Asia. Beautiful. And our defensive troops have finished training. It says low manpower, but we're fine. We're doing this balance so we don't waste a lot of manpower. And I'm going to see if, if I gain control of Upper Shan, if I can do that decision. Because I think I just need this city. Yeah, I think I need this city and then I take control of the state. And then the decision should unlock if it works like that. Tiger Club economy is done. Um, do we do Air Force, Navy? I kind of just want to finish everything else before we move on to that. Uh, this one is going to get wasted because I've already trained most of this. Hmm. Let's, uh, I'm going to grab you, I think. No, this is just, all of these bonuses are just research boosts. A few of these are sh uh, naval bases. All right, let's get, let's get over here. Let's get to convoy hunting so we can get trade interdiction tech for our submarines, which are not done. Yeah, this seven here doesn't tell me anything. Fuel refining is done. Uh, I think we're done with most everything else. No, no, no. Artillery boost. 69 giggity days. Yeah, dude, the capital is right there. Take the capital. They lose control of the capital. They lose all of their tungsten. It's really, really good. And apparently they're not defending it, so shame on them. What is this? Non-aggression pact with Iran? Don't mind that. I stole a bunch of factories. I'm just going to put them into guns for now. And Feng Tian did not actually get a lot of steel here. We could trade with America. I'm imagining we're not going to get intercepted. I imagine not. Yeah, I don't think they would have a lot of ships here. The Japanese Asians might have a few ships, but the Japanese Navy should be just beating the crap out of anything here. Why is this not pushing to me? I don't really want the AOG stuff. They've got cores on that, so it's fine. And what happened to this border? Okay, as soon as you're done wiping out this, this, this one dude, get back to this thing here. And push. Yeah, that got messed up. That that push order got messed up a bit. And I see a lot of conflict around here. Like naval conflict. Borneo has been wiped out. That's good. So German East Asia, once they lose Singapore, should just die. They should be gone. Unless we have to take Papua New Guinea. Yeah, but then again, we already have... We already landed there because... No, that's not us. That's Australasia. Can we get them on our faction? If we get Australia as well, I think that would just finish everything we need here. What is this? Mexico, yes. We will sign a non-aggression pact with you. Your organization is low, but your combat strength is fine. Yeah, do they have an entrenchment? A little bit. Uh, my divisions are decent. I could get them more support, though, like logistics and field hospitals, but I would have to make uh, motorized. It's a whole thing. Let's just push. Oh, 16 divisions? Let's not push. We get them out of this province here, and then they're stuck here without a naval base, and then all of these divisions just die. Yeah. We were able to cut off a lot of them from Singapore, which is good. 
Germany East Asia is pushing out of this small island down here. Whatever that is. But my push into Burma is not going well. They don't have any more manpower. Are we not fighting the Burmese troops? Yeah, this is the Burmese flag, so... The Germans have not gotten there to reinforce them. Uh... Let's see here. I actually think we're out of time, unfortunately, guys. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. But, until then, see ya. And thanks for watching, guys.